Hello, this is Connor Stoops, and welcome back to another Lumion Legacy HDC video, and today's video is on Nova Diaz. Nova Diaz seems to be one of the best Lumions of this update, if not the best and probably an uber-worthy Lumion in today's metagame. While well, it's pretty much the consensus around everyone that Nova Diaz may be an uber, that topic is for another video on whether or not Nova Diaz will be an uber or whether it would not be. So instead, let's talk about how to use Nova Diaz. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to use encounter Nova Diaz. From the counters and checks in teammates in order to use Nova Diaz in battles as well as the roles and sets in order to build around Nova Diaz, today's video is all about how to use encounter Nova Diaz. So the role that Nova Diaz is going to be playing in your matches is a very essential question to ask because we of course need to know how to use it. And of course, the base stats will help us answer this question. The main thing you want to know with Nova Diaz is that its weakness stat is its range defense stat. I've said this a lot about range defense stats in the 75 base area of the metagame, but overall this isn't a bad range attack or range defense stat I should say to actually have, but this of course is still a weak point on all Nova Diaz's. And your HP, energy, and melee defense kind of does make up for that. While your HP isn't certainly as high as Lumion such as Moreal and Cleone, this HP is still somewhat high for an offensive Lumion, and your melee defense of 85 will make you melee bulky enough to take hits from the melee side of Lumions, so you can check melee Lumions, and I'll actually be talking about that in a bit later. Its energy stat of 90 is actually really great, you only need 4 energy TPs to get to 250 energy, which is a very common be benchmark for any type of Lumion, especially if it's offensive. And finally, its best stats, it's really no surprise to see its melee attack and rage attack both being 129. While this is definitely not on the mixed attacking potential that Garg Golem attack is, this is still warranting some mixed attacking usage in the future. And your speed stat of 101, this lets you just outspeed Namare and Vesperatus if I recall, and will outspeed other slower offensive lumens such as Jalusa, Halvantic, and Shachi. So, what role does Novadius is going to play in your matches? Well, it's going to be a mixed roles of a cleaner and a wall breaker, mainly because it does have the attack power on both sides to actually wall break walls. And because it does have good setup potential with its defenses and speed and damage, it being a pretty good cleaner or a sweeper for your team is very good. Nova Diaz can practically play any offensive role besides like a status spreader or something like that, but that's more support. But Nova Diaz seems to be a pretty versatile Lumion on any type of team. So with that out of the way, let's talk about the sets for Nova Diaz. So for Nova Diaz's first set, it's going to be a generic ranged focus Nova Diaz set. What's very bad about mixed Nova Diaz is one, melee doesn't really give any coverage options that range doesn't. In fact, range does have more coverage option in Deep Breeze. What's also really bad about mix is that uh, it's not as hard hitting as mixed Gargolem attacks. So you're not really going to be benefiting much from running mix. There's only a few matchups that actually helps you, but overall those matchups are pretty easy to deal with if you have solid teammates all around. So if you want something consistent, run the ranged focus set. And until we get like a very better coverage move on the melee side of things, then I'd consider running a mix Nova Diaz. Your ability of choice is going to be Obsidian Heart, mainly because you do want to make your Ancient Stab or your ancient attacks more hard hitting and because we do have draco beam on the range side will allow us to hit lumens with 130 base power move that is boosted by 50 percent what's also good about no ideas on the range side is that running nimble is perfectly fine you don't have to hit the hardest and in fact you already do hit hard enough so nimble is basically pretty good here mainly because you want to outspeed lumens under your speed tier such as namare vesperatu jalusa halvantic shachi etc if you do have the nimble personality going up against offensive teams in general is just going to be pretty good overall and you don't really need the damage output that smart actually does give you it's only very minimal in certain wall matchups so nimble is what i would run the move set of choice here is going to be peace of mind because you want to set up your 
three range attacking moves. Deep Freeze is over Frostbeam, so it can actually hit Lumions such as New Luminami and Jalusa super effectively. And if you don't run Deep Freeze, well, they're basically gonna wall us. So Deep Freeze is pretty important. Fire Breath is our strongest Fire Stab, and Draco Beam is of course to utilize Obsidian Heart. Shoot Blast is not going to be ran here, mainly because in the early, mid, and even late game, Novidius is mainly going to be setting up one move, hit it one and then swap out, or hit once and then swap out, so Jacob Beam's downside of minus two range attack the following turn doesn't really benefit or actually makes Novidius any worse, so Shrewd Blast is pretty much worthless when Draco Beam exists. Your Ancient Essence is going to be the item of choice, mainly because Obsidian Heart is something you want to boost even further, and it is your base power move that's the highest out of everything else, so that's pretty nice. And your TPs. Four energy actually works out perfectly here because this will get up to 250 energy, which will let you use two Peace of Minds and two, uh, like, four Fire Breaths. You can also do two Peace of Minds, two Draco Beams, and two Deep Freezes, if I recall. There's just a bunch of combinations that 250 energy actually does give you. Your HP of 96 are the leftovers, and of course, we want to max out our more important stats, the range attack and speed stats. And the second set for Novidius is a bit of a niche one, but admittedly on paper, it does work very well. The second set that I'll be talking about with Novidius is, is going to be an enchantment setter. And the ability of choice is still going to be Obsidian Heart because we still want to be a oppressive. And because Enchantment Setter, of course, we're going to be utilizing our defenses. We only get hit by three types super effectively, which we all hit back super effectively besides Brawler, if I recall, which is admittedly pretty nice. And Enchantment Setters, there's not a lot in this game, and when you have something that is quote-unquote offensive setting up those enchantments, it is pretty hard to take them down, especially when you have Novadius as your Enchantment Setter. Your personality here is going to be clever. You can run robust and save TPs, but ultimately it's going to be the same outcome either way. The moveset is going to be far and near enchantment. If you want to drop one of these for Icicle Trap, then of course that is perfectly fine. But far and near enchantment, they both benefit you very heavily in certain matchups. Burn Up is of course going to be here. If you do not want to run Burn Up and run Peace of Mind, go right on, on ahead. Or you want to run another coverage move, go on right ahead. This is mainly focused on a utility based Nova Diaz. And your Draco Beam here is because we want to utilize Obsidian Heart. The item of choice is going to be Health Hamlet because obviously, Enchantment Setter, we want to have as much longevity as possible. And here comes the pretty weird stat spread of TPs. You have 200 Rage Attack or 200 HP to max out your bulk and 184 melee defense with the 200, range, uh, 200 HP under near enchantment you are able to survive two hits from a pep jab very brawny power cuff Skursel, letting you hit it back with super effectively with Draco Beam and ultimately killing your soul in the following turn. So you set up near enchantment onto your soul swap or you just set up near enchantment in general, then your soul is pretty much relegated useless against your matchup. Of course, the range defense is of course to utilize the stat that we can actually wall with, which is pretty nice. And the speed tier will allow us to outspeed very brawny hall vantics that are not boots. This set obviously does really well against other range attackers, such as uh, Glacadia, Teclipse, Wintrix, and Ikazune, assuming they're all under the far enchantment. This also does very well against Lumion such as Vesperatu, Dokumori, etc. under the near enchantment. There's just a lot of things that the enchantments can actually bring to Nova Dias, and because most Lumians and most teammates and most and pretty much pretty much everyone are going to be expecting an offensive Nova Dias, setting up enchantments just to hit back with a defensive set and ultimately wall them is something that is admittedly surprising and th will throw off any team. So with that out of the way, let's talk about the offensive encounters and checks, as well as the teammates for Nova Diaz. So when preparing against a Nova Diaz, there is barely any defensive checks that are warrant using. First off, our best one at this metagame, in my opinion, is probably Seer Knight, but Seer Knight versus the whole entire metagame is honestly not that great. You also do have very niche sets such as 
very clever Valkyries, very clever Luxors, like basically anything that resists Ancient and at least Defreeze, they're gonna be good defensive checks. But notice all of them besides Falkyrie at least, they all either don't hit Nova Deus back for super effective damage or they just don't hit it enough where Nova Deus is threatened by them. And two, they don't have recovery. So I'm not going to be mentioning any defensive checks, mainly because most of those Lumians are bad. And two, those Lumians aren't really worth using on teams because they will just pull your team down. So offensive checks is what I'm going to be talking about. Mostly, you want to be running Lumin second hit, Nova Dias, such as Earth types and Brawler type coverage. Usually, Ferroglyph, specifically Idiosyncratic, and as well as Boulder Blast variants of Ferroglyph can also do well against this. Volkaloa and Baneki and Gurgolem Attack, there are other they are other Lumins with Earth type coverage as well. You can also run Samurai, which admittedly is a pretty good Lumin against Nova Dias mainly because it does resist Ancient, and as far as I know, if you are running more bulkier Samarines, then of course, it's going to do pretty well against a Nova Dias. Garlash, on only the boot set, really works against Nova Dias, and as for your soul, it has priority and quick punch to actually stop Nova Dias. And as for your offensive teammates, this is going to be elaborated more in the conclusion, but Nova Dias has a lot of options. Usually, running range attack of the Lumians that can break the Lumians such as Pyrolin and Vanillin and Stratosaur and whatnot. Basically, range walls that would like to swap in on Nova Dias and play around it. Ikazune and Jalusa are my top two to use for that specific purpose specifically Jalusa, as it has the bulk and the damage power and the specific niches with Enchanted Coat to actually take hits from all of these range balls super well. Besides Vanillin, but Vanillin in all honesty is probably not going to be the, the, like the hardest thing to prepare around. You can also run Toxic types to specifically help against Brawler type coverage. Halvantic is probably the best one for that. You also do have other niche answers such as Dokomori. And Tautab is generally a really good sweeping partner with uh, this Lumion, mainly because Tautab is on the other side of the spectrum. And looking at what Tautab and Nova Dias can break, it's pretty much like there is nothing that Tautab and Nova Dias can't break together. So with that out of the way, let's talk about the conclusion and my thoughts on Nova Dias. So Nova Dias overall looks to be a very, very uber worthy Lumion in the future. Now, me personally, I've fluctuated between four points on my opinions on Nova Dias. My first one was when I thought that Glishadia was a better Nova Dias in every single way. Mind you, this was at five minutes, first five minutes that I've actually discovered this thing. And then right after that, I just found out that nothing walls, like, walls Nova Dias. For Glashadia, you have metal types. You have Valkyrie, you have Dyborg, Strat still counts as an answer. You have light types. There's a bit that can answer. There's a bit that can answer Glashadia. But for Nova Dias, you have to resort to very niche Lumians and very niche sets. I've seen some guy running a very clever Luxor, which honestly, I want to bleach my eyes out after that. You know, I've also seen other people thinking Seer Knight is the best answer. Seer Knight, no. Seer Knight is not that great in this metagame, and it's definitely not going to be being put up or warranted on teams just because Nova Dias exists. Then, my opinion went down to thinking that Nova Dias was on the same level as Glashadia because it sacrifices defense, um, specifically range defense if I recall, and it sacrifices speed for more damage, but technically it doesn't really do much more damage than Glashadia. It only does increase the melee attack. And of course, I got a comparison, or someone made a comparison that I saw really helpful to me when thinking about Nova Dias, is that Nova Dias is kind of like a Gargolem attack. Not much to wall, there's very oppressive, it's very oppressive, there are very few answers, and the stuff that do answer Gargolem attack, they're typically good enough to be slot on other teams. I won't name call them, but definitely there is someone that pretty is pretty good and I won't really elaborate much on there. But then my opinion went back to Nova Dias being an Uber, because unlike Gurgolem Attack, it has a great speed tier, or it does have they both have great speed tiers, but 
Nova Dias, in my opinion, has better coverage. It also has more damage potential with Peace of Mind and uh, Draco Beam, and it has better defenses. So unlike your Golem attack, it's not really forced into running the Clutch Plushie in order to actually live more than one hit. So Nova Dias is really great. If you want to use something that is pretty expensive, most teams can't prepare for, and will give you easy Colosseum points, then of course, use Nova Dias. I, in my opinion, I'm probably going to make this Uber in any tournament that I'm a part of, and I'll probably be making a video, a Lumion analysis specifically on why it's Uber, but yeah. This is Connor Stoops, and if you found this video informational, make sure you like and subscribe. I'm going to be doing more Atlantic City Part 2 content in the future, and overall, I just want you guys to see more of my stuff. Anyways, if you, this is Connor Stoops. Signing off to remind you that Zulong is still a dumpster fire. Alright, see ya. Thank you.